on October 4th, 2021, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp disappeared from the internet for six hours. This was one of the major internet outages in 2021. In this video, I'll summarize the cause of the outage. Why did it take so long to restore? Let's get into it. The internet can be thought of as network of networks connected and advertised by a protocol called BGP, Border Gateway Protocol. This protocol defines proper routes to get from one network to another and allows for multiple path routing options and redundancy and also efficient shortest path routing. Networks constantly update the routes in case of a change to propose better routes or more redundant paths. Now that we know how the internet routes traffic, what exactly happened that caused Facebook to go dark? Around 8.50 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the Facebook network stopped advertising its presence to their other routers on the internet. This was due to a configuration change Facebook made to their backbone router. This means any IP address that belong to the Facebook network cannot be routed to since there are no longer any paths available to get there. The problem was first noticed uh, through DNS. DNS requests to Facebook.com and WhatsApp.com for that matter were timing out. DNS servers have IP addresses just like any other server. And since Facebook authoritative DNS servers, which are located on the Facebook network, could not be reached, the DNS resolvers such as 8888, which is Google and Cloudflare 1111, couldn't route DNS requests to them. And as a result, we get this 10 second default timeout in the DNS requests. Even if you did manage to get an IP address of Facebook.com cached, you won't be able to route to it as the paths have disappeared. So why did the outage take this long to resolve? My guess is internal tools that Facebook used to make the configuration update were locked behind and could not be accessed, mainly because everyone is working remotely. This might have made the job of reverting the configuration change even harder. This is another reason why we didn't get any outage update even from Facebook, because there is no outlet to let us know that, hey, we're working on it because the Facebook network is not reachable. For those interested, I'll be posting a new video detailing the incidents, reading through Cloudflare, article reading through the Facebook announcement, and just uh, give my own thoughts. Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Goodbye.